A North Texas faith leader is also a major fundraiser for a somewhat controversial effort. Our Steve Pickett joins us now live from Dallas with more on the funding to bail migrants from custody. Yeah, you were just mentioning this, Brooke, in the previous story, and this man is focused on this. His name is Omar Suleiman. His mission is pretty simple. If you are placed under ICE uh, detention in one of those detention centers, he believes you can post bond, you can post that bond, and Muslims for Migrants is doing just that. Omar Suleiman has protested. The Dallas area Muslim community leader is a stand taker. Omar. When it came to the detention of migrants, Suleiman helped form this, Muslims for Migrants. So we raised $100,000 in a week. From his Farmers Branch headquarters, Suleiman shows the images of a father of two, the mother of three, both released from Immigration and Customs Enforcement after posting bond with bail money collected through the Muslims for Migrants crowdfunding campaign. Donors, he says, simply wanted to do more to help those families. That help is now almost $150,000. They want to make meaningful contributions to the policy changes, but at the same time, the number one question that I kept on getting is, can we donate? Can we, can we do anything for these people? Suleiman remains a steadfast critic of President Trump's policies toward migrant detention and says the bail money effort is action beyond the protests. This was a means of connecting people at a human level, at a, at a level of compassion with the victims of this broken system. You know, again, $150,000, you average about $10,000 for bail money for each of those individuals. We are told they've been able to help about nine parents. They uh, tell us that this process, this program will end August 31st, but because of its success, in their words, they may want to try to generate $1 million and help more. Reporting live in Dallas, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.